Hey folks, I'm Peter Melhorn. Come along with me on this trip as I go long lining for mid-March pre-spawn cropping. All right, guys, middle of the coronavirus uh, lockdown here in America. It's uh, tough times, tough times for a lot of people. Tough times for me because I don't have any work. Uh, everything that I've had going on uh, with my production business has been postponed or canceled. So uh, it's left me with a whole lot of time to take care of chores around the house and go fishing. And that's what I'm doing today, trying to create some content for you guys to watch. And uh, we're gonna go out today and try to put some cropping in the boat. I'm gonna be doing some long lining. Uh, nothing super complicated, just uh, uh, pulling some jigs and uh, putting out a couple of down lines underneath the boat, see if we can put a few crappie in the boat. The bite's been halfway decent. Uh, the only thing is today, we've had a weather change. Uh, it's gotten a lot colder. Uh, I was out here in shorts and a t-shirt the other day, and as you can see, it's a little chillier today. Overcast, uh, it's around 50 degrees, so We've had a uh, pretty good temperature change. All right, got hooked up here on something. One of my down lines. Got straight underneath the boat. There's a little crappie. Don't know if he's gonna make the cut or not. Just some double hook rigs I'm pulling. A little bit on the small side. I'm gonna not even measure him and call him an under. He needs to go back. I don't know what that is. That is a yellow perch. Wow. Oop, he fell off. A yellow perch. I know a lot of y'all have yellow perch in other parts of the country, but we don't have that many around here anymore. Kind of cool to catch one. Sorry I didn't get to show it to you, though. Let's see. Another undersized crappie. Found the little ones today. Another small one. Real small there. Not the size we're looking for. <laughs> That's last year's hatch. Dang. Gotta do better than that. There. A little pop pop up here. Dang, another small crappy. Almost got away. Close. He may go in the bait collection if he's long enough. So nope, he's not gonna make it either. The little ones up in here. Well, bang! There's another small one. Uh, I. It's funny. The other day when I was fishing, I didn't have that many undersized fish, and uh, that's a couple of them fairly quickly. So I don't know what that tells me, except that uh, maybe I'm too close to the uh, young males that are running around feeding and stuff. So I'm gonna keep dragging. I'm gonna work uh, the creek that I'm in and uh, get up in it uh, as far as I can and uh, just see what's going on, see where the fish are, see what this weather has done to change where they're holding up at. There goes one right there. That one I did get. That was like another small one. Feels like another small one. Oh wow. You talking about little. Definitely found a little fish. That's last year's there. That's a little one. Just reset, came to a, another creek. Came out to the mouth. I picked off those four fish in that creek. They're fairly small. I was gonna see if there's any bigger ones in here. And man. Another small one. A little one, getting little fish. I'm not sure what's up. I found the little fish. I just don't know where the big ones are. 
That feels like a better fish. Not sure if it's a crappie or a catfish. Let's get that there and see. Feels a little heavier. A little head shake. Maybe a catfish. This one got a little more thump thump to it. Swimming off to one side too. I got to think this is. This is not the king crappie we're looking for. Oh. Yeah. It may be. Big crappie. Oh yeah, that's the one we're looking for. That's the that's the slabulicious one there. That's a big one. Old black and white jig there. I'll show you what those are here in a second. That's the big one we're looking for there. That's a good fish. It's good looking crappy there. That's what we're looking for. Now, if you're wondering about line and tackle, uh, most of the line I'm running is uh, monofilament around six pound test, clear. Uh, to be honest with you, I don't even know what brand line it is. Uh, if I'm going to keep doing this, I'm probably going to switch over to some high vis line, maybe put some slime line or something on here. Uh, probably in that same range, six to eight pounds. And uh, it's just a little bit easier uh, long lining with the high vis line. And then I'll put uh, a monofilament leader uh, on the end of it just to clear it up as it gets out to the jig. Uh, there's also a couple of these rods still have some braid on them that I use for some of the perch fishing. So it's not ideal, but I'm catching fish on it. So uh, it will work. Clear water is probably not the best thing to have, but uh, it's uh, it's working. I'm catching some fish, but probably in some of the uh, follow-up videos, subsequent videos after this, you'll see me changing up uh, the line color. So that's what I'll be. Uh, that's why I'll be doing it. Feeling heavy. There we go. Dang. Another one. Not much size to it. My finger. These fish. That's another last year crappy right there. It's amazing how small these things are. I thought we might have been onto something with some bigger fish there after catching that one, but that is it. I'm gonna make another pull across here. There's some fish out here scattered. This has changed a lot from what it was the other day uh, with where the fish are and the size of them and how many's out here. So I'm gonna mess around here a little bit. See if I can crack the code. There's definitely some fish around. I'm a little perchy, might be legal. Nope, crappie. Finally, another one. That seems to be the color right there. Another one, another one, another butter, legal one. Bang, got him. Got him. And at least one other line. Maybe a crappie coming in on his side. That's a good thing. Better one? Yeah, no, not really. But he's a crappie. We're happy to have him. Part of the show. Black and chartreuse on that one. At least one is a keeper. Barely. Adding them up. All right, guys, hooked up on one on my down line. Just got reset and pulling here. That is a perch. Mr. Perchy Perch. We'll take him to. They'll all eat, and they'll all turn into good, good catfish bait. Boom, got another one. Looking like a perch, the way it's swimming. And it is a perch, Mongo Perch. Big old saga. Sandwich perch. There you go, folks. Ended up uh, with a few fish. Uh, not a crazy day. Uh, didn't get a limit, but uh, you know, is what it is. Wasn't exactly on fire. I uh, talked to some other guys that were out here fishing and kind of getting about the same results I was getting. So I don't feel that bad. I'm not the I'm not the most proficient crappie fisherman in the world. Uh, but this time of the year when it's good and the fish are on and they're biting, anybody can catch them. So if you got a chance to get out this time of the year, this is a good time to try out different techniques and different things and uh, try to catch some fish.
Well, folks, if you made it this far, thank you for watching. Please consider subscribing. And here are a couple of more videos that I think you're going to like.